So recently I've been getting heaps of questions asking about domains, subdomains, and how websites work. And today I'm gonna to really simplify it for you so that everyone can really understand this, even if you have no prior knowledge to this. I remember a year ago when I was setting everything up, it was my first time learning this, and I thought I was reading French. Like DNS records, C name records, A name records, what the heck were these things? And once I learned them, it's actually not that hard and surprisingly less complicated than you think. So I'm gonna break it down into first, we're gonna talk about websites that they need domains and hosting. So they're separate, but a lot of people get confused and think that they're, same, that they're the same thing. So what a domain is, is basically your URL up here. And normally you need to buy these with a domain provider. So GoDaddy, Namecheap, Cloudflare, Google Domains. Most of these servers actually can host your domains on their own servers. So that's why people think they're the same thing. But what you can actually do is you can connect these domains onto different servers that you want them to host. So for example, for me, I have my domains on Google domains. So you can see I'm in my Google domains and this is the domain that I bought and it expires next year. Now, once I go into it, you can see that in my DNS records, my DNS records are active, but it's under a custom name server, meaning I've pointed my domain at another place. And how to do that, I have it in a different video. I'll link that at the end of this video so you guys can check it out if you wish, but I have it linked to my Cloudflare. And why do I wanna do this? That's because Cloudflare so far is the best hosting software that works with Go High Level. So if you're using Go High Level and you have a website or domain that you wanna set up, definitely link it to Cloudflare. It's absolutely free. I'm still on the free version. You don't need anything else. But once we're in Cloudflare, there is DNS records. And when I was first doing DNS records, I was confused as heck. Because when you add a record, you get all these A, AAA, CAA, CERT, C name. I'm like, is this even English? But there are two main things that you need to know in the DNS records. One is the A record, and second is the C name record. And what these two are is basically the C name you use to connect your main domain, and the A record you use to create any extra subdomains that you want. Now, in the old days, when you wanted to connect websites to go high level, you had to go into settings and go into domains. And then when you press add, there would actually be like these codes for you to copy and paste into your domain records. But that's no longer the case today. So let's say today I have already connected my Sky Social domain and I want to create a subdomain. So let's do jackie.skysocial.com.au. All right, I press continue. It's going to then scan my records and scan my Cloudflare to see where it is pointing and hosting to. And this is going to Cloudflare. If I authorize domain, I'm going to press authorize and then it's going to authorize it. Now that's the new way and it's actually super easy. For the old way, if this doesn't work, you just have to go and press this need help configuration domain and I'll open up this tab. And essentially what you need to do is you want to add a C name record up here and also a A name record down here. And how you want to do that is very easy. You're going to copy this part. So we're going to do C name first and then go add a record go to C name. If you want to do your main domain, you just put a root, so at, and then chuck that in. Normally turn off proxy, and then you're going to click save. I'm not going to do it because I've already added mine. Same thing you want to do for the A record. You're going to copy this IP address, go into your DNS records, go A, and then you can either use the root, or if you want to do a subdomain, let's do a test, chuck in the IP address, and press save. And let's go back. Look, it's done. All right, jackie.skysocial.com.au has been added successfully. And these are all my funnels or website I already have, and I can just connect it to anything straight from here. So I hope this has clarified a lot of things for you guys. And hopefully I've made it simple enough so that it's not confusing. If you haven't got Go High Level yet, I do have a 30 day extended free trial down below in the description. When you sign up to that, you'll also automatically get emailed my free course, which will teach you how to set up your SaaS business in just 24 hours. I give you everything. I teach you step-by-step step on how to get clients, how to outreach, what are some cold call methods and cold call scripts, as well as my own website template that I use myself. So I hope this has helped you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.